Welcome to Physics Learning Point. In this video, we are going to learn bohr sommerfeld model of atom. Niels Bohr proposed that the electron of an atom occupies stationary orbits and these orbits have fixed energy and they are at different distances from the nucleus. When these electrons jumps from lower energy state or it is generally said to be ground state to excited state then the energy is observed when the electron jumps from ground state or lower energy state to higher energy state or excited state and the energy is observed similarly when the electron jumps from excited state or higher energy level to ground state or lower level then the energy is emitted when the emitted energy has the wavelength of visible light then this emission of energy is appear as a spectral line Bohr's atomic model could explain the structure of hydrogen atom successfully and it explained all spectral lines of hydrogen but when the spectral lines observed under high resolution spectroscope then the spectral lines appear a group of lines or finer lines this fine spectra has not been explained by the bohr's model to explain this fine spectral line sommerfeld introduced elliptical orbits and he retained the bohr's first orbit circular and there is no splitting of bohr's first orbit so n equal to 1 and here l equal to 0 if l equal to 0 then it is said to be s subshell so first orbit of bohr it is as it is as circular there is no splitting in first orbit first bohr orbits and second bohr orbits n equal to 2 the second bohr's orbit the sommerfeld added one elliptical orbit to it so this is l equal to 0 yes subshell and here the elliptical one l equal to 1 and this is called p subshell which means the second bohr orbit splits into two one is circular one is elliptical and the third bohr orbit the sommerfeld added two elliptical orbits so the third bohr orbit n equal to 3 and the first one is as it is circular this is a circular and it is splitting into three subshell and the elliptical two elliptical orbits are added to the third bohr's orbit by the sommerfeld and here l equal to 0 it is s orbital and l equal to 1 this is p orbital and l equal to 2 this is d subshell in this way if we go for fourth bohr, bohr orbit then sommerfeld added three elliptical orbits and first one is circular and three are elliptical so which means the fourth bohr's orbit splits into four finer lines in this way the sommerfeld try to explain the fine spectra and the nucleus of the nucleus of the atom lie on principal foci of elliptical orbits and the electrons revolve around the nucleus or periodic motion of the electrons under the influence of this nucleus sommerfeld could explain the structure of hydrogen atom and fine spectra of hydrogen atom successfully but he could not give the satisfactory picture of atomic structure and he could not explain the atomic structures of the atoms with more electrons so in this way the sommerfeld 
atomic structure not accepted by the scientist this is about bohr sommerfeld structure of atom thank you